Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick video to talk about something I talk regularly and it's for people that are using an older version of Windows, Windows 7 or Windows 8. I'm particularly addressing this video as people using Windows 7 because one of the biggest problems is that a lot of users of Windows 7 are unaware that there are now hundreds of security flaws in Windows 7, which makes not only, uh, it, it makes it risky for you to use it, it also makes it risky for your friends, your family, and everybody else. Because what happens when a Windows or when a operating system is unsupported and has hundreds of security holes is that whatever you're using antivirus uh, what you know how wise you think you are you have it all wrong because you are exposed and you are probably already infected or controlled and I don't care what antivirus you use I don't care how wise you think you are as a tech guy I can tell you you're just a fool thinking that you're safe but there's a cool thing that you can do, and it's to move on to Windows 10. Now, you might say, yeah, but I don't want to pay, blah, blah, blah. You don't have to pay. The majority of actually Windows 7 users are uh, able to move on to Windows 10 for free. And here's one trick that is probably the one that's going to make it free and you have the highest chance of have it working, whatever version of Windows 7, whatever uh, version uh, OEM or a purchased version um, and it's to use the media creation tool to upgrade but there's a catch so if you're on Windows 7 and you want to have a Windows 10 for free it still works today we are November 6th 2020 there's a security a security there's a loophole in Windows that makes you upgrade for free it still works it never never got closed and i don't think microsoft wants to actually shut it down what you need to do is head on to this page download windows 10 and i'll put this page in the description below the video and what you want to do is not a clean install it's very important to up your chances of having a windows 7 that upgrades you'll want to update. What you do, first of all, make sure you have the latest drivers, make sure that your software is up to date, your different browsers, whatever you use, is at the latest version possible. Second, remove any third-party antivirus you're using because those are automatic blockers that are gonna make it a problem to upgrade. So remove the antivirus you're using and go to this page, which is the Microsoft Windows 10 download page. What you'll want to do is download the tool. Download the media creation tool. From there, you will run it. And you'll choose the option Upgrade this PC now. And click Next. And you'll leave it do whatever it has to do. If it doesn't work here, you can also use the Update Now button in the page directly and let it do what it has to do. Now, this can take a long time, depending on how your Windows 7 or 8 machines are configured. It could take hours. Just leave it alone and let it do what it has to do. Depending on the machine you have, how old it is, it takes for some several hours. Uh, for others, it might take less time, depending on how much files you have on your hard drive and so on. And just let it update. Once you update, what's going to happen is that your Windows version should technically be activated. And in the activation page, you will have something that's going to say that your Windows is activated with a digital license, like you see here. So here, Windows is activated with a digital license linked to your Microsoft account. Make sure you have a Microsoft account to go to, 
and it's going to work. The majority of people that do this actually upgrade and it works fine. What's nice is that once that is done, okay, because this is the first step. Once that is done, if things are not going right or if something's wrong, now you can clean install. Now you can erase everything. You can create a installation media, USB flash drive, DVD, and so on to boot and clean install Windows. Because once you have that digital license that's linked, you're okay. You're going to be fine. This will work as a clean install because your machine, your computer, is a known computer for Microsoft and it will work fine. And then you can clean install if you have problems to make sure that things work right and that you didn't bring any bugs from previous versions of Windows into the Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.